Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this tough case. There is genular tear from uh, 8.45 o'clock to about 3.30 o'clock. So, almost 7 o'clock hours of genular dehiscence. And I manage this case with capsular tension ring. No CNA, CNA ring has been used. It is a traumatic genular dehiscence and the remaining genule is healthy. So, I was ready with a CNA ring, but I thought if I can manage only with a capsular tension ring, I will not use the CNA ring. Uh, I am not discouraging to use Sioni ring if it is necessary on must go for it. But this is just what I did and how was the post operative result I am going to show that. I made the incision at 9 o'clock because there is genular tear from 8.45 to about 3.30. I if I make the main incision at around 12 o'clock, there will be too much hydration of the vitreous and the case will be very tough. So, I made the incision at around 9 o'clock. Then I tried to put the seat here from a side port which was at 7 o'clock, but at this time I failed to put the seat here. Then I uh, applied this capsule hooks. Two capsule hooks was placed at 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock, applied a bit of tamsinolon acetate and I pre-chopped the nucleus. It was just an attempt, it did not happen. So, uh, so it is a long surgery, I cannot show all the steps surgery was uh, a long on, it took about 40 minutes to complete the surgery and I am editing it to about 12 minutes, important steps. Why this uh, terms known acetate? Because it will stain the vitreous strands and if I hold the vitreous strands, I will see that I am pulling the vitreous strands. So, that is why this CTR, uh, this tramsinone acetate has been used. Now, I am trying to emulsify, uh, you know, the, I am trying to remove some portion of the nucleus, but I cannot hold the uh, lens matter. The lens matter is getting it enough. So, I pre chopped and it was a partial crack, and now there is some chemosis of the conjunctiva. So, I take a needle and make two punctures on the conjunctiva and the chemosis will gradually decrease. I put some visco and take the pre chopper again. Pre chopper is very useful in such cases. And if we can make a free piece, it becomes very useful. Yes, I have been able to pre chop and this portion I could not crack, but still one piece has become free and the free piece is placed at 6 o'clock, which is the most, uh, you know, genuinely is strongest there, the middle part of the attached genuinely. Now, I take the uh, FECO hand piece and try to remove one piece. My plan is to get some space so that I can put a seat here. Yes, I could remove this piece. Now, I could hold this piece and I am able to, yes, I could remove a piece and then the whole thing is coming out, but I or notice that the bag is collapsing uh, from uh, 3 o'clock. 
from 2 o'clock and there is a huge gap now. So, I take out I do not try to remove this portion of the nucleus. If I remove this, the bag will be empty and it will totally collapse. So, I take the uh, CTR now and the CTR, the leading end goes into the bag and gradually I place the CTR and see how nicely the bag is getting distended and the bag is taking its original shape. And now, the trailing end of the CTR is placed in the bag. And now, I have some hope that I will be able to complete this case. We have plan B, if we have to remove the bag, we have to we have to remove it, then we will do vitrectomy and put a posterior iris claw lens and our vitreotinal surgeon Dr. Shubroto Mondal is with me in this uh, surgery. If I need, I will take his help. So, by this time the nucleus has been removed and there is some cortex remaining. I am trying to remove this cortex. Nowadays, I uh, try to remove most of the cortex by the hand piece itself and it is becoming, uh, you know, the skill is getting developed and most of the cases I can complete uh, removal of cortex by the hand piece itself. And if I happen to catch the capsule, immediately I can stop and use reflux and release it. A PC rent has not occurred in the last 6 months. Uh, when I tried this initially on or two cases, I caught PC and there was some rent, but after that now I know how to use the hand piece for a removal of the cortex. Now, I use visco and distend the bag and I get ready to implant an intraocular lens. The bag looks fine, there is no uh, gap and this is a single piece lens, both the haptics are in the bag. Now, my plan is to uh, you know, place one haptic superiorly so that it supports the bag. Yes, now I am rotating the lens and this haptic I place it here. CTR is there and this haptic is supporting from 11 o'clock to about 2 o'clock. So, the middle part of the genular dehiscence is being supported by the haptic, this is extra support. Now, you can see a vitreous strand coming to the main wound. I use the vitreous vitrectomy cutter to cut that vitreous strand and I find that this capsular tension ring is to be removed now. I use visco and remove the capsule hooks. There are two kinds of hooks, iris hooks and this is capsule hooks. This capsule hooks support the equator of the bag and hooks the margin of the rexis. So, this is very essential when there is genular dehiscence. And now, I find that there is some, the lens is displaced a little bit inferiorly. This is because there is some vitreous prolapse and this vitreous is pushing the lens inferiorly. If I do a nice vitrectomy, the lens will be central. 
So, I hook the vitreous strands and then I use the 6 o'clock side port, 7 o'clock side port and hook the vitreous strands and use the cutter and do a nice vitrectomy at this place. Ideal thing should have been if I could go through the pars plana, but that is, uh, yes I can do that, but that takes extra time and extra uh, no, dissection of tissue, I have to go. So, by this time what I have done is I have injected an air bubble used pilocarpin so that the people constricts a bit and then I did some more vitrectomy and ensured that there is no vitreous strands hooking the uh, iris and going to some wound. If any vitreous strand hooks the pupillary border, the margin of the iris and hook goes to some wound, there is peaking of iris and looks very bad and there is a constant traction of the vitreous base in those cases. So, we should avoid that and we should do a nice vitrectomy. At this time see how beautifully the lens is centered and I do not think I did something wrong not putting a CONE ring and see the post op pictures. Next day after 24 hours cornea is crystal clear and the antechamber is very quiet intraocular pressure is only 14 millimeter of mercury. I can see a suture there at the main wound the patient is very happy and I am more happy than the patient. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.